So once you're down, then we're going to come into a stretch. So I want you to look between your hands and walk your hands towards the front of your mat here. So walk, and then you're going to drop your head down. And this is just a great stretch on the back and the shoulders. And this is usually a stretch we do um, when we're just going into our first inversion and some light basic stretches to start with. How's that feel? Good. Good. <laughs> okay. And you can even, once you kind of settle into the stretch a little bit, you can even try and walk your fingers out a little bit further up your mat. And then again, drop the head. And then take some nice deep breaths here. Good. Okay, from here I just like to let my arms just kind of slide back to the center of my mat. Perfect. All right, bring your arms up behind your back. Behind you, clasp your hands together. So you want to bring your fingers together. Yep, straight arms all the way up. And then go ahead and let your arms fall back. Try and keep those um, palms together here. I know it's easier to let your hands kind of come apart. Okay, from here you're going to raise them back up and then go ahead and release your hands. Good. And bring them down to the mat. Good. We're going to show one more stretch here. So I'm going to have her come, now her feet are double wrapped around. Now I'm going to have her bring her soles of her feet together in the center. And then we're going to go into a double diamond pose. So you're going to take the handles Okay, so now from here you're gonna rotate your elbows down to the floor and bring the knuckles behind your neck. Yes, perfect. Bring the knuckles together, elbows come down to the ground. And this is another great stretch to start your practice with. You wanna hold these poses for about 10 to 20 seconds. And the first few times you go into inversion, I'd say, you know, add a stretch, come back up. Maybe the second time you go down, add two, and just kind of work your way into your inversions. Good. So you can go ahead and let go of the handles. Okay. Bring your arms down to the ground. How do you feel? Good. Okay. All right. And then we're going to have Emma come back up and grab those handles. Actually grab the fabric, okay? The fabric is the best way to kind of pull yourself up so you can walk your hands up as far as you can. Nice wide legs, come back up. Yay, good job, and thank you for watching.